Today we're going to see how Runway's video generation tool works, so let's take a look step by step. First, you need to sign up. When you sign up, you have to choose a membership. If you choose the basic membership, you only get access to 125 credits, which is about 3 videos. So, it really depends on you which membership you want to get. As I've mentioned in several videos, I have this one because, honestly, compared to the others, it feels like a waste of money since they work on credits, and you burn through those credits way too fast. So once we're here, let's go ahead and hit generate video. This is going to pop up right here, and we're going to start step by step. First off, within the same tool, you can also generate images. But we're not going to use that right now since it's not what we're interested in at the moment. So we're going to leave this for another separate video where I'm going to show you how to generate images in Runway. And then at the bottom we already find all the information so first of all you should know that Runway stands out because you can generate videos from images for this I'm going to look for any image. For example this one here I'm going to download it and I'm going to use it you simply drag it here and when you drag it it loads here and it uploads and here it will appear and we can only have videos in these sizes 1280 by 768 or 768 by 1280. So I'm going to choose the horizontal version, hit crop and automatically the image loads up here. Now to generate the image we have a lot of options. First off on the left side we have this T for text and this is where we can add instructions. For example, we can say we want a meteor to fall. It won't always listen to what we say because we need to have a well-defined prompt, which I'll teach you how to create later on. As soon as we're here, we can generate the video. But if we want to go a bit further, we can go to the left where it says camera control. Here you can choose more details, like the shape you want, how tall, how vertical, if you want to zoom in or not, etc. But that really depends on you. Then we can choose this water option, so that if the image is of a person, it mimics their gestures or actions in the video, if that's what you want. If for some reason you want this to be generated within your image or video, we have this last option, which is to expand a video, meaning we want more things to be generated around it. In our case, we just want this image to be animated, so let's hit generate. But first, we have one last option, which is to choose the version of runway we want, like the turbo version the alpha version, or version 2, this is the oldest one and doesn't deliver such good results, so I always use these two here. The turbo version is the fastest we have, so I'm just going to generate it, and I can switch to alpha and generate at the same time. Let's wait a moment for it to finish loading. This will depend on the time of day. Sometimes it can take a long time to load at night, or it might not. It really varies. Look, in turbo, you can see it loads much faster than in alpha. So supposedly, according to what they tell us in the membership details, this Alpha Turbo version is worse than Alpha because it doesn't provide as many details and doesn't give such good results. So let's compare and see how well it turns out. Now let's hit play. But notice that at no point does a meteor fall. It's not taking into account what I said, and that's what I was mentioning. I mean, honestly, on that front, Runway doesn't seem like the best to me because you have to give it a ton of completely different instructions for it to finally take them into account. And honestly, a lot of times it doesn't even take the instruction you give it, which is why I recommend the unlimited membership. Just imagine, with one of the other memberships, you're going to have to spend all your credits just to get the result you want in the end. Now we're going to wait for the Alpha because it's supposed to. This should deliver better results than Alpha Turbo. However, before we continue, Let's go to another page, in this case, ChatGPT, to check out this section where it says Explore GPT. We're going to search directly for the name of the platform so that this prompt shows up here. Honestly, I've been using it, and it gives pretty good results. Let's hit Start, and write what we want. I just wrote that I want a meteor to fall in the middle of the beach, so I'm going to hit Send. I have an image of this, and look, it automatically generates it for me, already. As is, as recommended by the platform itself, all the instructions should be generated. So right now we are going to use that. The image has already been generated here. Let's see if what I wanted happened in this one, and I don't think so. It didn't take my instructions into account, but now we're going to try doing it the following way. We're going to copy the instructions that Chat generated for us here. We're going to put them here to see if it really generates it. We're going to do it just like that. And we're also going to generate an alpha turbo to see the big difference between these two and apart. We're going to delete the image here to show another big difference there is. Between these two versions, in the Alpha Turbo we can only generate images or videos based on a start image. 
If I try to generate it, it won't create a video just with the text I sent. It has to be sent with a base image. So what you can do is change to the alpha version, and in this one it only lets you like I'm here, already generating videos. Well, because I'm on the unlimited plan, it doesn't let me send it right away. So we have to wait for this alpha version to finish generating over here. And look, it let me do it now. Let's go ahead and generate it. And now this one does allow us to generate it just with the text. Now let's check the result from Alpha Turbo, which generated much faster. Let's see if it worked this time. With some good instructions, it generated the meteorite. And in this case, I don't think it did it either. So I would have to keep generating images until it finally works or change the instructions, which is a bit tedious. Honestly, it doesn't have the best quality in the world. So, well, let's put it back here again. We put the image, we cut it so that it is generated, and we go put it in Alpha Turbo to be able to generate several. At the same time, let's see if it finally listens to me and actually generates a video with a meteorite. Since I'm on the unlimited plan, I can send several at once. If I were on one of the other plans, just imagine how many credits I would have to use to do this. But anyway, let's keep going here. It already generated the one from Alpha, so let's start from the beginning. We have Alpha Turbo, which is the one we just saw, and now let's check this one out. Well, in Alpha, it's pulling away, but you can't see any meteorite falling. It only generated the camera movement, and it's like it's pulling away, but it didn't do anything else. So well, it's even a better version of this one over here, because this one is still the same. It didn't make a big change. Now here we still have the other version that we generated from scratch. In this one we didn't take into account this base image. Was it generated with just the instruction? And now let's check out Alpha Turbo, letting us create many images simultaneously. To see if maybe generating a bunch of images or videos makes a difference. It made some changes. This one looks a bit more like the one generated in Alpha. Let's see if it did it in this one. And it didn't do it either. Let's see if it did it in this one over here. And it didn't do it either. So, well, we'll have to keep looking, changing the instructions here, seeing if it generates in a different way, and so on. Now we're going to do a single example of generation 2 so you can see how it turns out. And I don't like this one as much because it also has a character limit. So let's see if by gradually removing this we can... No, we're going to stop here and let's hit generate. And that's it. It only lets us generate 4 seconds, while the other versions I hadn't shown you. But they allow us to generate a maximum of 5 and 10 seconds. It is. We're waiting for it to generate, or the one above is generated. This one is done. Let's see if it's good. I really wanted the meteorite to fall from the sky, but it looks like the meteorite has already impacted and just stayed there. That's the result we have. And now we have the latest version, which is this generation 2, and it should be generating right now. Now we just have to wait and see what it gives us. That's what it gives us. In the meantime, we can try out the other options. For example, here in camera control. We have this static camera one, which does exactly what its name says. It keeps the camera as still as possible. We're going to generate a video with this effect. So you can see how it looks if it's not just what I was telling you earlier. You can set the camera to move as much as you want to stay still or not. And well, it should be generating there. Let's wait for this to finish generating. Let's see how this one turned out over here. This one is four seconds long. Otis, it hardly did anything. It made the image worse than it was, and it didn't do it right. Let's wait. Okay, it just generated. Last image, and look at the difference. And the image stays static. As I said, the effect is as it is. And the big difference is that it stays still. There it doesn't move anywhere. While in the previous versions we generated, the camera does move. Some movement. But in none of them have I achieved what I wanted with the meteorite theme. So I'll have to wait, and keep changing the text until it finally works out. And that's how this video generation option from Runway works.